I actually now spend a lot more time just planning uh, different experiments, planning my actual day as an engineer, what are all the things I'm gonna go and do, rather than just making stuff and throwing it behind a plasma and throwing it behind a laser and just seeing what happens, seeing what sticks to the wall. My name is Spencer Gellerup. I graduated with my degree in material science and engineering from the College of Engineering at UNT in 2020. So I got my four-in-one degree from the College of Engineering and Material Science, so four years for my undergraduate. And then starting my senior year, I was able to take three grad-level classes that saved me a lot of money and a lot of time for my master's. I'm now a dual master's and PhD student for the College of Engineering. I'm trying to find solutions for scalable solar cells. So we work with magnetron sputtering to try to make a plasma of the materials, the semiconductors that we want to make the solar cells out of. The purpose of it is to get flexible solar cells to market, to see we want as many competitors to crystalline silicon cells because those are very, very expensive to make and they take very slow, laborious processes. I got into material science in high school. My chemistry teacher, my junior year, she urged me to really focus on nanotechnology since I had kind of a burgeoning interest in it. I wrote up this whole paper on it. I thought it was really interesting. And when I was applying to colleges, I was wanting to do nanotechnology. And lo and behold, I look at UNT. They were the first college to actually offer an undergrad degree in material science. And they're still one of the very few that still offer an undergraduate degree in material science in the state of Texas. Because everyone else, they hold off all the fun stuff with plasmas and lasers that I do now until you finish your undergrad and you can start with your grad degree. I didn't want to wait till then, so I came to UNT. So currently all the research that I had described with the plasma, with the lasers, that's all under the Air Force Research Lab. Uh, what I want to do is either work for a, a DOD lab and continue with solar cell research or end up at a Department of Energy lab working on seeing if we can take you know, this brand new cutting end re research and if it's actually scalable and it's actually a feasible solution for market. And I would love to get my PhD, which I'm working on now, and then being a PI and leading a project on something like that. <laughs>